primary key is a unique column or a group of columns used to identify a row of data. When creating a table using SQL, specify which column or columns you want to be the primary key. The primary key values cannot be null and they must be unique to identify it at most one row. If just one column is used as the primary key, that's called a simple primary key. And sometimes multiple columns, called a composite primary key, are necessary to uniquely identify a row. Composite primary keys are surrounded with parentheses. And a minimal primary key uses all the columns for uniqueness. In the tables below, we could see that there's an artist table where ID is the primary key denoted by the little asterisk that I put next to the word ID. And notice that every single row has a unique value for that ID. And if you were to run a SQL statement like select name from artists where ID is 42001, it should return back Kanye West because that's the name that matches up to that ID number. In the table on the right, we're using a composite primary ID. So the ID is both the ID and version, both of those columns combined make up the primary key. The table is also very similar, except for the addition of the version column. And you can see that for the Marshall Mathers row, there's a second version of Eminem called Slim Shady. So that's why he has a version two. Although notice that the IDs are the same, but because of that addition of that version column, which makes the combination of those two rows unique. So the primary key for Marshall Mathers is 40553 and is ID and one for the version, whereas the primary key for Slim Shady is 40553 with the version two. So the combination of those two columns make the composite primary key. And also it makes it unique. The data types of foreign and primary keys must be the same, but the names of the columns could be different. Foreign keys have different rules than primary keys. Foreign key values may be repeated. Foreign key values may, must match up to a primary key value. And foreign key values can also be null. Foreign keys also have some special cases. Multiple foreign keys may refer to the same primary key within the same table. And a foreign key that refers to a composite primary key, which means a primary key with multiple columns, must also be a composite. If you see the two tables in this slide, you'll see that in the first table, artist ID is the primary key. And then in the second table, company, owner is the foreign key, which matches up to the ID of the artist table. So we know that the company Yeezy has its own ID of 123, but we know the owner is 42001. So looking at the ID that matched that from the artist table, we know that Kanye West owns Yeezy. And similarly, Rihanna owns Fenty Beauty and Marshall Mathers owns Shade 45.